Mm-hmm. And then I said, okay, there's a better way to do it. So business winter again, right? Walk around the block, two or three weeks going, okay. The whole thing is we're supposed to get a return on ad spend, get an ROI, right? Okay. <laughs> I got to spend an hour and a half with these people, rejection handling, six to eight weeks. What if I didn't do that anymore? What if I didn't have an account manager? What if I didn't have to pay a salesperson? What if I didn't have to do any of that? What is like, what's my Amazon two-day shipping? Like, what's the product? What's the least amount of stuff? And people forget that, like, if you have to charge a lot, you have to do a lot. And I'm like, I didn't want to do a lot. I just wanted to get a return on ad spend. Like, if I could shove a hundred bucks into Facebook and get uh, a $3,000 contract, we're good. Like, yeah. I should be jumping up and down 30, uh, 30X ROAS, right? Okay, cool. Very e-commerce style line of thinking. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Like, I'm just going to put my price in the ad. And then they yay or nay before they even talk to me. Like, they won't even opt in. I don't want to have a hundred leads that I got to think about knowing that only 10% of them have money. I want a hundred leads that I got to think about knowing all of them signed up and know that I charge for my services. So I ran the ad and the ad was very Jeff style, which is devoid of any creativity yeah, or prettiness. Boring, like it's the grossest of, it's literally on Canva. Yeah. And for people that are watching this and tuning into Josh Gavin and Jeff live, this is the format. This is what you do. This is the charge product and price. And that is it. Yeah. And, and when I ran that, like, I got two things reflected back at me. The first is I didn't have this like, I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm excited and interested in marketing to marketing about marketing to marketers, right? Like when people sign up for like a $45,000 a year program and they're so excited, they don't know what they signed up for. You know what I'm talking about? Like I didn't have that on my sales calls anymore. Instead, I have people that are like, I know how much it costs. I know what you're doing. Let's see if we like each other. Yeah. And yeah. very quickly, my hour and a half sales calls turned to 15 minutes. And I'm closing people while I'm driving in my car and he's driving his car and we're just chatting about the weather. He's like, yeah, man, I know I'm in. I just want to talk to you before I already track. All right, cool. Where are you from? And that was it. And I was like, holy crap. Like, I felt like I cracked the code. Like I removed all the extra stuff off a 997 or 1500, two grand a month. And we only kept this thing. Mm-hmm. And we only ran one ad, one offer, one blah, blah, blah. And I didn't have to put all this emotion into like falling in love with my industry. Mm. I just fucking ran an ad. And then I was like, oh, that worked or it didn't. And then it felt very, uh, not logical, but, you know, uh, keep or kill very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, and I didn't have cool creatives that I fell in love with. Mm-hmm. It's just text on an ad. And I found that the people that opted in, A, knew that it cost money, which is like a big deal. Mm-hmm. And B, already bought into the product, mm-hmm. like what we do and how we do. And mm-hmm. very quickly, that meant I didn't have a list of 100 people where half of them weren't responsive. The other half didn't have money and half of that, you got to sell them with a first one guarantee. Now it was a hundred people that knew that I cost money and they like my stuff. And now we just got to figure out if we like each other. Mm-hmm. And, and that's where we are with the agency. And that's usually the, quite the opposite of like, you know, what's your cost for What's your cost for sale? What's your return on ad spend? What's your salesperson's closing rate? What's your show up rate? What's your offer rate? Oh my God. Like, dude, I could not run my business like that. I yeah. stop asking me all these questions. Like I get, a, I get insulted when people ask about my cholesterol much less yeah. my show up rates. Like, holy crap, why would I count that? Yeah. So I think like when I started agency, it was friend people on Facebook or whatever your, you know, wherever your church happens to be. Mm-hmm. And, you know, curious student into retainer. And then it became paid ads that are very busy oppie that Facebook hates, that nobody's really sure what they're getting. Mm-hmm. And now it's just, this is my thing, this is my price and a discussion. Mm-hmm. And this is the happy Jeff. This is the happiest I've ever been with the exception of the past 30 days, which have been a fucking shit show because of Facebook banning me. Uh-huh. But, but like that has been like the happiest clients. Like they opt in. It's me on the call. I don't have to pay a salesperson appointment setter. I don't get a hundred leads in a day and then look at Facebook and have them optimize for patients instead of dentists. And like when somebody signs up, yeah. you know, like yeah. by catch, you're like, yeah. man, it's a fucking, it's for carpet cleaners. Not, I'm not cleaning your carpet. And then the devil on your shoulders, like, oh, we should probably find a way to monetize. They're like, oh my God. So now it's only clients that are opting into my ads and we're on the phone, no appointment setter needed, no salesperson needed. And it's 15 minutes. And cause I can build the ads are done in like 30. Mm-hmm. And you know, the whole philosophy was like Amazon two day shipping. 